Hello, I'm Eugene Loa. Thank you for joining me here on A Slice of Life R for your dose of do-it-yourself motivation. And earlier this year, I had the pleasure of chatting with a visiting international speaker, best-selling author, a management consultant and authority on the subject of relationships, Helen Chen. As an expert consultant, she has been invited to give her advice on marriages, family and parenting issues, individual empowerment and business success on numerous TV, radio, magazine and newspaper interviews across countries. Countries like USA, Spain, United Arab Emirates, Finland, Taiwan, China, India, Japan, and of course Singapore. Her book on relationships, The Matchmaker of the Century, was launched on Barnes and Noble last year and subsequently became a bestseller. Many of her other books are also number one best-selling books. And here's my chat with Helen. Helen, you've written so many books, over twenty-five yeah. books, twenty-five <laughs> books, and yes. more on the way as well. And uh, you know, I want to start off with this particular book okay. that, that has really caught my eye, and it's. A really huge bestseller in the United States as well. What schools don't teach you? The ten most important lessons for life. Yes. Can you tell me what、uh, you know inspired you to write this book? I was thinking in life, so many things is so important, but school really didn't teach you. <laughs> so I thinking it's very nice to discuss, and for people to really take a time and think about it and take a look, what is things really making you success or happy? But school really not you know not helping you for this area. And so after school, you learn and you try to grow up your family. You try to fight for your business. Then you find out a lot of things is not so easy, and you never taking attention for this type of area. And now I say about this, people really respond so well, like wow, you know, this is really making a big difference. Your point and your grades in life,、mm. but not in school. Yeah, <laughs>、so. presumably in schools they teach you uh, about. Uh, Uh, all the academic subjects, yes, right? But they don't、yes. teach you about living life. They don't teach you about interacting with people,、right. values, things、yes. like that. And do you find that some of these things, a lot of these things, are not being taught to you by other people as well? I mean, outside of school, even、yeah. for parents,、uh, guardians, right, right.、Uh, they, they don't really teach. They you kind、things. of talk about it, but then they never. Put so much attention for you to realize、mm. and learn because、mm. you need to learn the relationship. Like、uh, for example, you need to learn about communication.、Mm. But they just tell you, "Oh, you should talk clear," or they say, "Ah, you say this, I don't understand."、Mm. But they did not break down. Well, what is your area you need to learn? All the、mm. problems,、mm. like、uh, when you don't know how to calculate the mathematics, they know which part, which area, and then they、uh, flunk you, and then they teach you. I、But、see. The, it's very straightforward. Life, that kind of thing is、yes. black and white. Well,、yes. one plus one equals two. Kind of thing, but、yeah. this one's very it's 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 different.、Right. Uh, you have to experience it for yourself in a way. Yes. So, how much of these、uh, things or these lessons、uh, for life in this book that you talk about?、Um, w- did you find that you, were you able to? You, you didn't learn them in school, obviously. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. You learn your so, life. You learn your. So you learn all these you know, through the experiences of your life. Right. So、yeah. can you briefly take us through these ten most important lessons for life? Oh、Just、yeah.、Briefly. So one of them is like a, they, you have to know about your ability. Instead of a license, ability Because, instead of license. Yeah, for example, like we go、oh, credential,、uh-huh. right? You go for life, you get the you know certificate. Yes. Yeah, but you don't really know that it's not equal your ability. <laughs> So people thinking about if I have a license, I can、uh, do something,、yes. or like if I have a certificate,、yeah. or like I graduate some school,、yes. you know, people kind of look you up. Ah,、uh, yeah. you know, you kind of automatic guarantee for that.、Mm. But now, for example, like when we go to、uh, taking a test for the、uh, job, now they need to talk to you. They not see you.、Mm-hmm. That was sixty percent points.、Yeah. I don't know about in Singapore,、okay. but in so many places now, they, when they do the testing for you,、mm-hmm. it's only forty percent. You know, for、mm. your point. And why for that? Because people want to look at you. Yes. It doesn't yes. matter which school you come from;、mm. they still don't trust you.、Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's like a, these days, almost everyone has that that piece of paper qualification. Yes,、right? I mean, yes, what yes. What employers are looking for is more than that. It's, yes. It's the person inside. Yes. You know? Yes. And、yeah. then they want to see how you talk, how you dress up,、yeah. and how you present yourself.、Mm. Because one thing in school, they they care your points. You、mm. have. A plus or you B minus, but they don't know how is your confidence. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. it's like a, I, when I see you A plus, I'm not sure you have a lot of confidence. I、All、just、right. know you can get A plus, right?、Mm-hmm. But how about your confidence? See? I see. That is differencing. Okay, so that's one of the lessons that you. Yes. What, what other、uh, lessons in this book that kind of like a 
you know pop up for you. For uh, for example, like uh, I talking um, something like, that, uh, that, that the guys you, cannot yeah. be stingy. Like uh, <laughs> if you are stingy, that is very dangerous. You know, it's like uh, we learn about how to making money. We learn about you know you should be on time or you should apply. School do teach you that kind of things, but they didn't say you cannot be stingy. <laughs> so that was very dangerous. Mm. It's very important to be handsome. It's very important to think big. Mm. You see, people do. Influence your relationship if you're so stingy.、Mm. You see, and stingy is not only for money. Sometimes it's for money, but sometimes it's for your vision. Sometimes it's for like、uh, how much you want to build up your future, and、Ambition、how about and yes, yes, that、oh. is all about your heart. I see. Right? If you really wide, you have a more chance. To have the、uh, relationship better with other people, but if you so stingy, you close up. You only can stay home and then thinking about your computer and then、mm. your world and your space is so small. Okay, and then making others so uncomfortable to be with you. <laughs> <laughs> so that obviously is a is a lesson for、uh, for, for that goes out a message that goes out to the men in your audience, right? Yeah, but also, but also women also, right? Sometimes you I, give I, the same I, advice to women as well, yeah, yeah, not yeah. to be stingy. Yeah, yeah. Let, let me let me tell、mm. you about what、mm. happened when women stingy. <laughs> They gossip you a lot,、right. and then they actually criticize you a lot. See, men、okay. so afraid of that. Like a woman so pretty, but then they criticize you, right, and then、okay. they give you a lesson all the、mm. time. That's the people who stingy. I see. So、For、stingy、example. also means things like being petty, be,、uh, yeah, being worked yeah, up over yeah, trivial yeah, yeah, yeah. things, criticize a lot of things,、uh, and then they're very difficult to be with、uh, because、okay. whatever you do, left turn, right turn,、oh. they have a lot of things to say. <laughs> That's to do with stingy people. <laughs> right. I see. I see. I see. So getting very worked up over little little things. Yes. That's why I explain all these things、that、in the book. That is that is a very true <laughs> lesson. I I think as well, and I'm very intrigued now to to、yeah. read that book. I, I must pick it up. And there was Helen Chen chatting with me when she visited Singapore. Earlier this year, now Helen is an international speaker, best-selling author, and management consultant, and authority on the subject of relationships. And、uh, you can get more information over at matchmakeroftheCentury.com. We'll continue my chat with Helen in just a while here on a slice of life R on nine three eight live. I'm Eugene Lo. Continuing now with my chat with Helen Chen, who earlier this year visited Singapore. Helen is an international speaker, best-selling author, a management consultant, and authority on the subject of relationships. Do all these lessons kind of like relate back to relationships, which is your、uh, forte, your your? Oh yes,、focus? yes. I talk about love seminar, and then I give a lot of people even the love seminar workshop because I thinking people need to practice and drill. But what this book is like influence your vision. And we're changing how you talking to people.、Mm. You see, when people very very handsome and big heart, and then they sweet,、mm. their words it's easier to become sweet. Yes. So a lot of times people say, why do cannot fall in love? Why we together we like each other, but then we don't have much to talk about.、Yes. That is because your heart did not making your words sweet. So if you read this kind of book, right,、mm. changing your mind,、mm. and when you mentally change,、mm. your wording change.、Yeah. That was very magic. Yes. So yes. people. Thinking、yes. about oh, I can write the article,、yeah. but the, when you write the article, do not making woman fall in love with you or making guy feel you attractive. <laughs>、yeah. But if, when you talking so sweet, when、mm. you can smile,、mm. I, that make a big difference. Yeah, it's very interesting because this particular book,、um, although it does teach, it relates back to relationships. When we talk about relationships, people always think about. Uh, in relation to the other person,、mm. right? But what really interests me is relationships. But the most important thing is yourself. Really, you start with yourself. Yes, yes, yes,、right? yes, yes. That's why yeah, you, you, you teach these lessons、idea. about、right. not being stingy, being open, and things yes, like that.、Yes. When you're when you are able to build that on yourself, then that's when your relationships、exactly. start to become better. Right. You、yeah. have to first、uh, to、mm. liking yourself,、mm. and then you have to be knowing yourself very well. Yes. Then you can talking to other people, and then you from there extend. To the children and your parents, and then your you know st- you know colleague, even your student,、mm. you know when you're teaching or when you try to be working with somebody as team member, this is all inference. So it's oh my God, it's like <laughs> a, in life as long as you see people. 
you see. Then the further one probably go with dog also. <laughs> <See>? <laughs> so that was very important. You know how to you know yes, communicate. Yes, essential, learn. essential that that not being stingy, being open bit is is really great because you know yes. when you're open about yourself, firstly, yes. you know you accept yourself, embrace yourself fully. That's when you embrace and accept other people as well. Right, and people find right. that so easy then to be with you right. and to share with you. Right. Well. Otherwise, you fight all the time, or you know, you know, you can see some ladies like they very pretty, they high educated, mm. but they're so difficult to be with, and that making their life is not so happy. You see, and then people always wonder, and they themselves wonder, I'm so pretty, I'm so elegant, and then I'm making good money, and I'm so a uh, high ability for you know arrange everything, but yeah. why they don't feel their life is sweet? Oh. Sometimes it's very sad. Even the men laugh them. Mm. You see, mm. and they don't understand why because mm. they're thinking I'm. Making good money, I'm pretty, yeah. and then I understand people. I'm so polite, you know. Yeah. But the, what happened is they are not really have enough soft heart yeah. for the people comfortable with them, and this is very important. When you say soft heart, what do you mean? Well, we mean about the people uh, very tender, care yeah. about ah, people. Okay. So mm. what happened to soft is that we say, you know, like making the man feel sweet. You <laughs> see, that is very important for the woman need to learn this technique, and mm. that's what I what I teach in the love seminar. Like you must understand mm. the people with you comfortable or not comfortable. Well, yeah. this is vital. Yeah. It's like it doesn't matter how pretty you are. You yeah. fight with them one time, they're afraid of you three years. Yeah. <laughs> so that was like a kills all, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so even you're so pretty, but didn't help. You know, I mean, I mean, uh, perhaps decades ago that would be something that is very understandable, uh, logical. Yeah, but yeah. but these days it seems to go against the grain of. What other people are teaching these days, because uh, these days people talk about being being bold, being you know be, uh, being your, yourself, your individual, mm. and to, to assert your rights. And right. you know when you feel that the other person is 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 lacking in some way, you must voice it. You know mm. that, that sort of thing, being more assertive, and that's what's happening right. to the relationship. People. I mean, of course, you can be so strong, right? Like now everything, I, 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 right? iPhone, mm. iPad, yes, you know, everything exactly. is like a, you very. Yeah. But the, all this character must be attractive. You see, you like yourself, but people should admire you. Not like a look at you and say, okay, go away. You know, you just, you know, lock the door because you can enjoy yourself, but, you know, please don't be with me. Right. You see, okay. and that you're missing the point. Mm. So you can be as much as good character yourself, like, a, you know, nice singers, you know, nice, uh, you know, entrepreneur. Yeah, you have a great idea. That's beautiful. But if people cannot be, get along with you, mm. you're really missing the point. Okay, okay, wonderful. I mean, I, I think uh, three of the very key uh, fundamentals for, for building great relationships is firstly like self-worth, self-esteem, right? Mm -hmm, we talked about mm -hmm. how much you love yourself and how You're much right, you can right. embrace and, yes. and love other people as well. And the other one is... Uh, expectations mm, you know mm -hmm. how how much of expectations uh, do you talk about in your like relationships uh, how well, does that affect well you need to be know how to charm another person mm. and also you need to want to chasing another person mm. that is very something okay. you know i was my husband for so long and i say my job is chasing you every day chasing <laughs> It's like a, you need to be oh, like it's a, a tweet, Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a, you have courtship. to be, yeah. Every day must be a courtship. Yeah, 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 oh. yeah. You need to making yourself so charming. Otherwise, you losing. You know, that's why they're thinking oh. about oh, oh, why the husband love another person or woman goes with yeah, another yeah. guys. You know, mm. they're so worried about you know the relationship is a problem, mm. right? Mm -mm -mm. But n the the main thing is because you you lost the power of chasing, yeah. especially men, right? They say, oh, you already married me. See, job is done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then you're men, missing men, the whole yeah, well, point. Yeah, well, I mean. I mean <laughs> Most people, yeah, the moment they get into a relationship that, that becomes a bit stable, after one, maybe two years, that sort of thing, they let go, right? Right, start, and that's yeah. the create, you yeah. see? You have to create, like mm. a newly dating. Mm. You see, like now I have a honeymoon with my husband every year. Oh, wow. So I go every place, and then, you know, every year we go, and every time mm. we go out, people are thinking we just marry. <laughs> 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 wow, wonderful. Yeah, yeah, that was beautiful. <laughs> okay, okay. So not taking the relationship for granted, not taking your yes. partner for granted, yes. even if you're married for 10, 20, it doesn't oh, matter. Oh, yeah, yeah, years, yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah, Every to the last day. day. <laughs> to the very last day, yeah. The courtship to the very last day. I like yes. that. And that was Helen Chen chatting with me earlier this year when she visited Singapore. Helen is an international speaker, best-selling author, a management consultant, and authority on the subject of relationships. More information over at matchmakerofthecentury.com. My chat with Helen continues after headline news, sports, and business. I'm Eugene Lowe here on A Slice of Life Hour on 938 Live. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Hello, I'm Eugene Lowe on A Slice of Life, our online 38 live for your dose of do-it-yourself motivation. And uh, my chat uh, continues with uh, Helen Chen, who earlier this year visited Singapore. Helen is an international speaker, best-selling author, and management consultant, also an authority on the subject of relationships. Um, let's go to um, the third thing. Mm. I think it's very important for relationships, uh, communication. So communication is very important as well, but something I feel is very tricky, very difficult to do also because mm. when you talk about, talk about communication, people are very different. Yes. You know, you can tell them uh, you should you should say we <laughs> instead of <laughs> I, you know, never say never, but you know, you never say always, but, yes, but yes, it's yes. very difficult. So how, how, do you, right. how do you train people? You see, for the, the talking, right, mm. a lot of time people get into so much technique. Yeah. For example, like, uh, oh, you are a salesperson. Mm. So how you do the presentation? You know, a lot of the insurance company or when you go to the salon, and you know, they're talking in the way they teach you which words. They teach you wording or they teach you about, you know, the procedure, mm. which was good, the technique. Mm. But the, the most of all is you got to understand what's your purpose and what you want to get into the result. Mm. See, it's very important for your heart and your mind. If you really feel for that person, you know, it's more better mm. you can really say the right thing. And the technique shouldn't higher than your intention. So the intention should be more important than the technique. Yes. Otherwise, you feel, you know, for example, when you go to see a musical yeah. or you go see the show and then you're thinking about, oh, they're so good at technique. They dress so pretty and, and sound and everything perfect, yeah. but you don't feel touching. Yes. And then you're missing the whole point about the art. Yeah. So the important thing is your intention still higher. So sometimes people teaching, you know, very, very good intention. And then when the, the artist is so good, they touch you. So maybe they dress not so good. Maybe sometimes the sound not so good, but yeah. you still feel beautiful. Yes. And that is better. Yeah, yeah. It's like when you hear a pianist playing a piano. Yes. Right? Yes. There, there, there may be some uh, mistakes in the play. Yes. But, yes. but what's more important is the feeling, the right, soul, the spirit. Right, right, right. Ah. So when you have the feeling there, mm. you more chance yes. to express yourself right. Mm. Because the important part is you can touch the other person's heart. Mm. And that is really the key. Wonderful. <laughs> so you need to learn that. <laughs> Wonderful. So when it comes to communication, what Helen teaching uh, mm. is that the main thing is to, to have that um, how you feel for that person right and, and the then your strong intention and that you can create it's not right. just like I like I like you know a lot of times people try to date I like I like this I like that or I don't like that one no that's not my style yeah. well it's not it's not like a, that's your style right. not your style right. can you create mm. with your intention to come out your style mm. which can touch the other person then you could marry any person and <laughs> happy, you see? And yeah. that was very, very tricky. It's mm. quite deep. But if you don't go this way, you always separate. You always broken your heart and then you feel sad, yeah. you see? Because yeah. you like this person and after dating three months, that feeling's gone. Yeah. And you live with this person after seven years, you thinking love is finished. Mm. See how dangerous, you mm. know? So it's important you can create instead of you thinking about you use up. It's the same thing about the money. If you have so much money in your saving account, you can finish them. Mm. But if you can create and deposit the money all the time, then you don't need to worry about how much in your saving account. Okay. You see? So right. the love is you create, is which you can produce. Okay. Well, does it doesn't mean it's kind of like one-sided then? What, what oh, if it's both sides. Both sides. Both sides. Bo yeah, both sides. Both side. okay. But then the important part is if you could make the other person also can create with you. Wow. You see, it's very easy to demonstrate <laughs> because yeah. you changing a woman, you find out you're a different personality. I guarantee you. I give you the woman A, mm -hmm. you have nothing to say. Mm -hmm. I give you woman B, you talk a lot. Oh. And then, okay, so do, <laughs> are you talking a lot or you don't talking a lot? I don't oh, know. Yeah. Yeah. Depends on which person can guiding you and interplay with you. Mm. See, this is so important. So you need to learn how to change in people's mm. heart mm. instead of like, okay, I just <laughs> wait. And then I liking you. Oh, I liking you doesn't mean you will like me. Oh. And I liking you doesn't mean I can talk more. Mm. Maybe I'm more nervous, even <laughs> worse. You see? So the important part is yeah, you yeah. know how to. So it's a lot of time you can hear the people say, oh, I don't like her. She's so difficult. And I say, well, but she don't treat another man like she treat you. <laughs> so you have to take in the responsibility. Right. Too. Again, again, it's coming back to yourself right? and working on yourself and deciding yes. what you want. And then, you know, that, that's that, the best that, way. The interaction, yeah, naturally yeah. happens like that as well. Yeah. Train yourself and change yourself don't mm. always, don't criticize others mm. because you criticize other person don't help you 
Yes. Yeah, that's why uh, in my book I do say, you know, in Chinese words. You, when you criticize, you become unattractive, really. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's so terrible. <laughs> I mean, everybody afraid of even yourself if you're, you know, dried out, yeah, right? Yeah. So in Chinese book I say, "Ren jie ke fu," that means you can marry to any man huh? <laughs> if you're really good. <laughs> you know, theoretically, actually, can happen. Mm, okay, so when you talk about that creating, yeah. you know, how um, are there certain techniques or strategies that you that you teach people? You need to learn to have have to bring your own life. You have to have energy. Mm. So that's why I say to the basic, basic, you need to eat good and sleep well. Yeah. <laughs> and people say, what? You know, yes. because everything to do is energy. That's true. You see, yeah. if you want to have a good show, look at them. Yeah. How much energy mm. the main actor, actress put in. Mm. Almost kill you, you know, and then they do every day, right? Yes, yes, but yeah. the rest of people, you know, they only talking half hour. They say, I'm so tired, <laughs> you know. Like mm-hmm. in my training workshop, yeah. I had them stand up to talking two hours, right? And everybody say, oh, so tired, so tired. Yeah, but every speaker, they have to stand there yeah. and talking. It was uh-huh. very normal. Yeah. So it's all about training. Mm-hmm. You see, if you don't train, mm-hmm. you're missing the point in life because yeah. life is here to train. Learn is one thing, but learning after learn, you have to train. Right. If you don't train, you cannot apply. Because from no to until you can apply, that's a very big long row and mm. a big gap. Okay. So people always thinking learn, 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 but then they forget about practice mm. and then carry out mm. and really apply in life. Mm. So that is a different subject. Right. So you like something, you learn something that was you learn in school, but how about life? You mm. need to continue to create. Mm. So every day you need to come up and fight. Mm. You see? It's like, uh, you know, every tiger try to run. Mm. And same thing with every ship. They try to run. Because if they don't run, one get catched and one cannot catch. It. <laughs> so it's wow. like all the same thing. How wonderful if everyone could, you know, adopt your philosophy. I really <laughs> yes. like that because you work on yourself. So every day you yes. wake up thinking, I must be the best person yes. to, to other people. Because you're performing. Yeah, and that, that helps other people kind of like reflect back that kind of positive yes. energy yes. to me. Yes, right? yes, <laughs> yes. So you set up the good example. Mm. You know, I always tell people, you, you're tired, you know, you go to coffin because <laughs> that's the time you can lay down and then rest. But if you're not, you know, you're awake. <laughs> so you better leave, uh-huh. you see? Uh-huh. So you, you, you shouldn't, you know, worry about, you know, you're too tired because you only rest when you're sleeping. Yeah. If you're not sleeping, your eye open, you better look good. Yeah. You better shine. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, people thinking, well, what happened to you? You know, yeah. you're unconscious, yeah. you know, yeah. so it's no good. You yeah. know? And it's better you expand all your energy when yes. you're awake. That's yes. when you're tired enough at night to sleep. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and then that's why people say they didn't make yeah. enough money. Why? Because they didn't spend all their energy. Uh, right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And that's great. So I like that the energy part, that that yes. being uh, uh, and happy, happier as yes. well. Yes. There was yes. one yes. I think uh, uh, someone I spoke to about relationships as well. Mm. And I asked that person about like uh, men who feel unattractive, who are, perhaps if they feel that physically they are yes. not good yes. looking, you know, yes. but they are able to get you know very right. attractive women. And right. he said the secret is simply to be happy yes. and confident yes. you know, yes. with whoever yes. you are. And that right. is the most attractive thing to right. women. Right. Yeah. Same thing with a woman, right? Mm. Always see, when you ask a man what kind of woman you like, they wanted the one actually talkative and cute. But the being cute is energy. <laughs> I mean, it's impossible to not energy can be cute. <laughs> you know, if they want to smile, I told you that's a lot of energy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but then, you see, that's a magical thing about it. You can feel horrible when you start off the day. But the moment you, f- you, you, you force yourself to have that energy and, yes. and, and it comes yes. back to you and yes. it, it grows yes. and grows. Yes. And it, 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 it's like a, in dancing, mm. right? You know, if you put the energy into dancing, mm. you more likely not tired. Mm. But if you don't put the energy in any sport, you're very tired. Mm. So the more you do, the, the more. more you want to do. Yes. So you should put the energy, the more you smile, the mm. more you want to smile, the more you feel energetic. Mm. You see, like people thinking like when we talk, we're very tired. It's wrong. When we finish talking, we're so high. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> You don't sleep at all. You know, you want to go to party. Yeah, yeah, so people exactly. say, oh, when you finish working, you're so tired, you should go home to sleep. No, wrong. <laughs> when I finish working, I want to go dancing, and I want to go party, <laughs> and then I want to see my friend, and I start dating, and I want to talk to my husband. Right. You know, because you have 
energy right. because it's also attractive, mm. the positive energy. Mm. If you have a negative, what is negative? Mm. You gossip, okay. you're talking about depressions, mm. and then you, mm. you, know, you, you criticize people. Of course, you're tired <laughs> because that was negative energy. Yeah. You see? So when you have a positive, you get better. You know, it's just mm. like, a, you know, recycling, and then you kind of see, you sw- swindle, see. The, the, you know, you're getting okay. worse and worse, and, and that right. was the problem. Okay. You know? So I'm, 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 tr- uh, I'm getting to understand the essence of for the communication in relationships that you're mm, talking about, yes, right? Yes. So always try and, you know, uh, gear it towards positive energy yes. communication with your yes. partner. So yes. always, always do that. Mm. Um, so it's all about, uh, but what, what if you have uh, some difficult issues to, to talk about? Well, the thing is like this. When you have uh, the problem, right, instead of go to shouting people and then criticize another person, it's better you cool down and then you actually write down what is a good point you can talk about another person. You try to learn how to appreciate another person. So, mm. for example, like now, for example, like now you're my boyfriend, for example. Mm. Then I start to get angry with you. Mm. So I should sit down and thinking about what is a good part about you. What is, what's the beautiful thing, mm. good points about you. You see, you, you're guiding yourself to thinking the beautiful way yes. instead of the negative way. Yes. And then I come back to validate you about your good part. Mm. And then you're thinking the person only in the good intention mm. and you're thinking the interesting part. Because what happens is if you see the positive one, you more see the positive one. If you keep going looking the negative one, you find a more negative one. Yes. <laughs> it was just like a multiple. And that's mm. very dangerous. So if you have the loved one, mm. you're only thinking about his good part and never believe the negative part. And mm. this is very difficult for people because they don't believe it. But yes. you don't need to believe me. Yeah. Yeah, try to do what I say oh. in one week and see what happened to your life. Mm. Then you can see if it's true or not. Because you cannot believe me because this is not a faithful thing. Mm. You just need to try. So mm. now I told you this yeah. is secret and you go to do it. <laughs> and after one week, you can come back to fight with me, see if it work or not. Because yeah. if you're yeah. never, you know, eating the noodle soup yes. and then you try to tell me it's no good. I mean, this is not fair. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You see, yeah. try. And I've been chatting with Helen Chen, who visited Singapore earlier this year. Helen is an international national speaker, best-selling author and management consultant and authority on the subject of relationships. More information on Helen over at matchmakerofthecentury.com. I'm Eugene Lowe and this has been a Slice of Life R. Thank you so much for joining me here on 938 Live.